Safety spot, no doubt about it. Safety spot, can't do without it. It's really so important that you always have to shout it. You gotta get safety spot. Oh yeah! You gotta get safety spot. That means you. You gotta get safety. Gotta get safety. Gotta, gotta get, get safety, safety spot. Oh yeah! Spectacular day for a walk, isn't it, Timon? The air smells so clean, the colors are so vibrant, you couldn't draw a more perfect scene. Yeah, yeah, spectacular. Oh, come on. Timon, instead of playing that game, you should really be paying more attention to where you're going. I'm multitasking, Pumba. I know exactly where I'm going. Oh. <laughs> nice blue sky today, huh? Devices like cell phones, computers, and tablets can all be really great. But if we're going to use this technology, we have to be safety smart about it. Yeah, I know all about that, Pumba. Like, don't drop them or spill water on them. That's all true, Timon, but it's not the kind of safety smart I mean. I'm talking about keeping ourselves safe and not hurting others, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Let me just answer this first. T I. M O. What are you doing? I'm just giving this person my name. Who is it? I don't know. It's just someone who's asking. You don't know who they are? No. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Timon. It's super important to practice being safety smart in real life and in our computer life. What do you mean? Let's say a stranger walked up to you and asked for your name, address, and phone number. Would you give it to them? Bumba, of course not. Then do you think it's a good idea to share that information with a stranger on your computer? Good point. That's personal information, Timon, and it should stay private. You should never give out your name, address, phone number, or any other personal information. Okay, okay, I'll be more careful. We have to be. With computers, we're connected to the whole world. What do you mean? I'm not connected to anything. You might not see an actual cord, but yes, you are. Oh, come on. To what? Well, whether we call it going online or internet or the World Wide Web, it's all the same. It connects our computers, our tablets, our phones, and even our TVs. Aha! Uh -huh. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? No, Pumba. <laughs> Not a clue. Nothing. How about I take you to a place that will hopefully make it more clear? Hey, you know, if there was some place you could take me to that might make it more clear... What a great idea! <laughs> Always thinking, pal. Wow! What is this place, Pumba? Shh! It's a library, Timon! Hey! I've heard of that! It might do you some good to actually visit one occasionally. But what does this have to do with computers? A library contains lots and lots of information and the technology to get that information. Still not getting it. When we use our computers or other devices to go online and connect to the internet, we're kind of connecting to one huge library. A library that contains not only tons of information, but also music, games, more than even this library has. Like what? Well, online you can do almost anything, like talk with friends, shop, you can even plan a vacation. I've always wanted to go to Disneyland. Yes, I've heard they have some very charming and handsome characters there. And I could do all that from my computer? Yup, as long as you're safety smart about it. You already told me, never share any personal information. That's just one tip, but there are lots of others. Tell me, tell me, I gotta know. Shh. I think we should probably continue this outside. So, what were you saying? Why are you still whispering? I have no idea. You know, Pumba, on second thought, I don't think I need any more safety smart tips. All that stuff you were talking about that computers can do? Yeah? I don't really do any of that. I use it mostly to play games. Whatever you do, even if it's just playing games, you still have to be safety smart. Let's say you want to visit a new place on your computer. You mean like a new website? Exactly. 
Well, just like in life, when you're going to a new place, you should always ask a parent or an adult if it's okay. Sometimes those places might not be appropriate. That's good to know. And you also might start meeting new friends on certain sites. I already did meet a friend. His name is Chummy Chimpanzee. He's hilarious. Oh, that's great. But that's just his screen name, Timon. You don't know who he really is, so you need to be careful. But why? He seems friendly. Seeming friendly doesn't necessarily mean he is friendly. What are you saying? Chummy Chimpanzee could actually be a hungry hyena. <laughs> That's why you should never agree to meet someone in person that you meet online. Like I said, being safety smart with computers means keeping yourself safe. Thanks, Pumba. And if he is a hungry hyena, I'm going to take care of him right now. Hey, buffalo breath. How'd you like to feel a stampede on your face? <laughs> Timon! You can't send that! Why not? I'm not really gonna stampede on his face. Whoever you were sending that to doesn't know that. Your message might scare them, and being a bully <laughs> is never okay. But I'm not a bully. Look at me. Very impressive, Timon. You think you could do better? I know I can. Is that all you got? That was hilarious, Pumpa. I gotta put this on ZooTube. No! I take it you don't approve? Timon, you should never share an embarrassing picture or video of someone without their permission. I thought sharing was good. It depends on what you're sharing. Sharing germs isn't good, is it? No. But you gotta admit, this is funny. Not to me! That would make me feel bad. And that's another way to bully someone. How is that being a bully? There are lots of different ways someone might feel bullied. In life, sometimes all it takes is a mean look. But online, if you send someone a bullying message, or if you share an embarrassing picture or video of someone in a chat room or on a social network site, these are all ways someone might feel bullied. Any of those would make me feel bad. Oh, well, me too. That's why we should never send or share anything that might hurt someone's feelings. Okay, Pumba, I won't. Scout honor. And if someone sends you a message that makes you feel uncomfortable in any way, make sure you tell an adult, even if that someone tells you not to. Sheesh. You know, I never knew online safety was so complicated. It can be, especially since everything we send through the internet lasts forever. Ever. Forever? Anything we ever write, whether about ourselves or someone else, any picture we ever share, any message we ever send, even our game scores, they all stay on the internet forever. Dinosaurs didn't even last that long. That's why to stay safety smart, we have to be extra careful about what we share online. Remember, we want to keep ourselves safe and not hurt others. I gotta tell you, pal, I've learned a lot about being safety smart with computers. I hope so. Like, never give out any of your personal information, like your name, address, or phone number. That's right. And never share a picture or make a comment that might hurt somebody's feelings, even if you think they won't see it. Whether you're face-to-face -face or online, <laughs> bullying is not okay. And if you ever feel bullied or uncomfortable from something someone sends you, tell a parent or an adult right away. They can help. And remember, the things we share online last forever, ever, ever, ever. And that's a long, long time. Well, Timon, should we do what we love to do after a little safety smart learning? Nap? No, Timon. A song! Oh, right, a song. Sure. Let me just get us a beat. That's funky, huh? If someone asks for your number or wants to know your address and you think giving out that stuff is fine Though this stranger might seem nice You'd better think twice and be safety smart online. If someone does something funny, or something clumsy or strange, or someone trips up time or 49, before pressing send, think again, my friend, and be safety smart online. The online world is fun, you bet! 
would I forget that never? But when you put something on the internet, that something lasts forever! Ever! 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 The cyber world is forever, and you should treat it with care! We hope you heed this good advice of mine! And mine! Careful what you do and say! Nothing ever goes away, so be safety smart online. It's a really good idea. Be safety smart online. Safety smart online. Safety smart online. Ha-ha! <laughs> sure is beautiful here, isn't it, Pumba? The grass and the trees. Yep. Even though playing games online or texting friends can be fun, there's nothing that beats being outside in the fresh air. You said it, pal. I know I said it. You just heard me say it. Pumba, it's an expression. Oh, right. Once again, Pumba, you have helped me to be as safety smart as possible. And I thank you. You're welcome, Timon. And it will also make us good online citizens. You betcha. So... Shall we continue our nice walk through this beautiful jungle? Absolutely. Oh, but there's one thing I need to do first. Hey, Timon, did you see that library? Yeah, yeah, very fancy-schmancy. Yeah, it was very impressive with all the books and technology. Oh, oh, did you see those monkeys pounding on computers? Now, that looked like fun. Timon, you're supposed to be quiet in the library. Mama, I'm not sure monkeys can bang quietly on computers. Oh, Timon, I like the library when it's nice and quiet. Not me. I love the library when it's wild and fun and, you know, full of monkeys pounding on computers. You know, Timon, if the librarian catches them, they're in a lot of